Chat donated one dollar. To Shay Alicia just followed Roddy Rich back on Instagram. It's over. Alicia, come here. Tighten that shit up. So you followed Roddy Rich back on Instagram? Who? Roddy Rich. What about him? You followed him on Instagram? Yeah. Why? You know why? I don't. Well, you don't know. <laughs> why are you laughing? Why y'all single him out out of everybody? Because that's what they told me. When I add, you see, I don't follow a lot of people. So when why'd I, you follow him? When I add, I just was thinking of random people because when so I to follow. Listen, when I try. Roddy to, Rich hasn't dropped in four years. <laughs> no, no. And that's why I'm cheating. Go, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Ooh, Ashley. That's why. That's why I'm fucking other bitches. Go ahead. Go do what you gotta do. <laughs> go ahead. I'm just. I'm not even here. Go I'm do what you gotta do. Here. You're about to fight when I put some clothes on. See, bro, you can't trust these bitches, bro. That and that nigga's short, too, bro. Damn. Just like me. Damn, that escalated quick. That escalated quick as fuck. Oh, <laughs> but that's why I love my chat, because they be How did they me. know that? Here's a zing lawyer. Oh, so it's just a transactional relationship. She needs money and he needs companionship. It's just one of those couples that like to cheat on each other, and I don't have a problem with that. As long as people who want to cheat are dating other people who want to cheat, all the right people are getting cheated on. And that's a fact. Today on Cheaty's Podcast, we have the expert. You've cheated before, both of you? Yeah. A pot-smoking slut! Yeah. I, it's, my it's, my story I can't tell again because I'll get a restraining order. I've okay, said it so many okay, times. Okay. So many times. You've cheated before, Lacey? We all have. It's false. Fine, yeah. I'll tell you mine. Okay. But we've no, been I don't want to hear it. But we've been cheated on and that's why we started the podcast. You know, can I say something? Please. I, I, I honestly, I don't trust anyone that does that. Okay, it's, cool. Then don't so, trust anyone, ever. No, nobody that I know has cheated. <laughs> You've asked them all? No, I just, they're friends. I mean, you don't think I have um, connections and we share things? I just don't know a lot of people that have done that. You know, um, a lot of people don't what are you? Are tell you... their friends is that they cheated. Yeah, also, you're not, like, I just you're wanna... a comedian. You're not. That's doesn't. That's that's a. No one's believing that lie. You're a. <laughs> you're a comic, who's friends with comics on the road. I'm not saying that there's one specific it's one. What you're saying. I'm saying what I'm saying is it's a nature of the it's biz. Nature. No, it's not the nature. You're not. I'm happy he said he don't want to hear the story because I guarantee you the story was just her justifying why she cheated. Even her thinking that everybody cheats is just her trying to feel better about the fact that she cheats. Beta female. Five things I wish I'd have known before dating a trans woman, part two. So if liking men makes you gay, and liking women makes you straight, what does not liking men, but liking women of all types, what? Yeah. Man, look at, man, hell no. I don't care how much they push this stuff. If you date trans women, you just gay with extra steps. Men dug holes in the ground and laid electrical wires and ran power plants and manufactured iPhones so chicks could sit in their apartment blocks built by men with all the wires and the power running into their house to have Wi-Fi so they could get on their iPhones and call men in cells on the internet and make 50 times that man's salary for taking pictures of their butt cracks. Is that what you're saying? This is the world we live in. It's not real. We're paying single mothers more money not to have a man in the house than to have that married man in the house. Why do you think they're doing that? Because they want to exercise power, dominion, control, and punishment. Yeah, right? because if the man's not controlling the house, something Uncle Sam else is. is. Yeah. Uncle Sam is, yep. right? So the woman's saying, I'd rather be married to Uncle Sam because yep. he's writing me a bigger check than whatever you are. And so that allows Uncle Sam to exercise more power over the household than the real Sam who was actually in there who got booted because the woman had more of an incentive to collect the check from the government than she did from actually being a member of a stable married household. And that's exactly why fatherlessness has gone up dramatically over the last six decades because you get what you actually pay for in this country. Now 25% of kids are born into a, a household without a father in that house. In a certain sense, it's not surprising you get what you pay for. That's what we're paying for and therefore that's what we're getting. And the craziest part is we know what to do to fix the American family, but no politician's gonna do it because to get that position of power, they know they need the female vote. Women are more likely to vote than men, meaning they are the majority of voters in America now. And politicians know if they don't say certain things or pander to women they're gonna lose a large percentage of that vote and I realized this is my wake-up call eight and a half months later 75 pounds down I did it I freaking did it that's what I'm talking about baby what? you want to hear a joke that'll make you laugh your ass off what? oh wait I think you already heard it <laughs> <laughs>
Here's a, here. What? It's my ID. Why do I need that? What's that? Why do I need your ID? Oh, so you can tell if I'm good. <laughs> good for what, Christopher? Are you gonna let me in? Where? I'm trying to come inside. He called. Get the fuck out of here. What's Get that? the hell out of here. That don't work. I can't it? come inside? That don't work. Does Was, that work on people? I mean, it, Does it, that work on people? Is there a cover charge? <laughs> Maybe. Game is game. Most men don't try to understand women. They try to change you to whatever they kind of have. That's what we're supposed to do. No, nah, well, listen. I'm all about change if it's for the better. This Sometimes the it can. Y'all don't understand y'all. Y'all emotions is all over the place. Um, How the fuck are you going to say and tell somebody they don't understand their own Y'all don't. Well, no, one, the emotions, one size the does not fit all. Emotions Bro, take over for some women. Eighty percent, yeah. generally yeah. That's why speaking. I said some. Most. Even you've had days where you ain't know why you was crying. Niggas don't be like, I don't know why I'm crying. You bitches got there like, what am I crying for? Y'all got certain days that y'all don't understand what's going on. Y'all are unstable beings. And y'all want niggas to understand what y'all don't understand. It don't work like that. We can't understand y'all because y'all don't understand y'all. Yeah, that Y'all switch right. a lot. We do enough to get the box and try to keep y'all around. That's enough. That's a headache in itself. I'm not upset with y'all because I know you're mentally ill. A study was done with infants where an obstacle was placed between the infant and the mother. The boy infants would try to knock over, climb, or move the obstacle, and the female infants would cry. So the boys would try to problem solve, and the girls would just vocalize their distress. We see it in infants where boys are problem solvers and girls just want to hear, they want to be heard that they are not okay right now. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. If you're on Patreon listening to this, you've heard us say over and over again that if you go to your man with anything, his first instinct is going to try to problem solve. So if you are just venting, it needs to be stated, hey, babe, I'm just venting. I'm, I'm fucking going through it and I need you to have a bitch sesh, w bitch sesh with me. Not meaning that he's going to sit there and bitch with you, but you can sit there and just bitch all you want. And he will listen. And I don't know if you want him to brush your hair or something, say that. But boys are born with the instinct to problem solve to get to where they want to go. Boys and girls also play differently. Boys play games that require aggression and builds hierarchy, while girls tend to play games that have neutral hierarchies like house or dog. It's almost as if boys and girls aren't the same. Let me know in the comments below if this video was a W or L and give me the HBO special that's a help brother out special. Hit the like and the subscribe button for more content. Till next time.